off to the right here is uh, Calafia. Calafia is, again, one of them hotels that's just been there a hundred years. Many people, you know, I'm um, going to Calafia since I was a kid. And then off to the right down there is uh, a pretty good surf spot. It's famous, uh, Kilometer 38, K38. It's just a good little uh, break. And sometimes you'll go there and there'll be, uh, you know, 30 or 40 people from the U.S. there. Other, t other times you'll have it to yourself. I'll see if anybody's over there today. There used to be a little campsite right here. We would pay uh, $4, I think. You just pull in and uh, camp in your car or pop a little tent. Costa Bella, that's usually affordable. K38's right up here. I haven't been here in a while. They used to have a uh, K38 surf shop. Let me get out of the way. Yeah, here's that little campsite, Martha's Martha Camp. So K38, La, Las Rocas. That's uh, that's fairly affordable. I've stayed there before. And then right here should be K38. I don't see any cars. Yeah, man, it's sad. Everything's like closed up. Yeah, so it's all closed up pretty tight. This little uh, K38 motel. pull in and see what's going on. Hi. So this is K38. Like I say, all these little taco shops and all, that would just be a hundred people ruffling around here surfers from San Diego LA as well as uh, um, the Mexicans oh geez K38 so again we're on the uh, free road off to the left here is the uh, toll road free roads in pretty decent shape way back in the day it used to be a two-lane road and you'd get stuck behind a semi truck or something. Yeah, it was a mess. And pretty soon we're gonna come up to Puerto Nuevo, the lobster, lobster village. I don't know, my buddy says it's for gringos, but, and I still love it. They, they take that lobster and cut it in half and grill it. I think they grill it. Beans and rice, delicious. Pump your gas for you. It's the law down here. So 
this is Puerto Nuevo. It's probably going to be a ghost town, but uh, it's even popular with uh, people from Tijuana. But uh, yeah, 90% of the crowd is gringos. Or it used to be. I mean, the people that live down here, the expats. Yeah, see, uh, this is real uh, quiet. No normally, there's just hundreds of people here. All these shops are open on the right. So one of my favorite places, uh, uh, Ortega's here off on the right. They've kind of built a couple of, of levels over the years. Now, I don't know, it's three, four levels high now, Ortega's. It's one of my favorites. Um, there's another, yeah, there's nobody down here. There's another Ortega's. At the end of the road here, um, the Ortega, family has three or four restaurants in here that's uh, Via Ortegas yeah kind of gone are the days when when I was a kid you could uh, you could come down here and they would just bring a pizza platter like a big large pizza full of lobster tails there must have been uh, um, you know 15 tails and then they'd bring the beans and rice and homemade tortillas. And I don't know, I never I never paid uh, back in the day, you know, as a kid, but I, I don't think it was much more than 20 bucks. Nowadays, that's about uh, uh, what a meal's gonna cost, but some of these smaller places over here, you, you can still do uh, with the smaller tails. They'll give you two small tails, rice and beans. Um, 12 bucks. Yeah, see, this Ortega's house is new. I, I think uh, they just keep giving the kids a restaurant. I, I think it's what's going on. But this is Puerto Nuevo. Yeah, uh, the Baja 1000 is next weekend. It'll be packed for that, I'll bet, because this is just a legendary, uh, you know, place where guys like me, uh, have just been going to since we were little kids it might cost a little bit more now but it's still fun just to go to Puerto Nuevo this hotel Puerto Nuevo nah I've stayed there it, it's nah don't stay there it, it's a weird place it, like my hotel room had one outlet in the, in the entire hotel room and it was kind of big it's I, I just didn't like it I think I paid 90 bucks or something I was like ah eh, we'll get a decent room and yeah it wasn't great the pool's nice big huge pool they used to teach diving scuba diving in the pool see I like these communities like off to the right here these mobile home communities right on the beach where people have uh, people have built decks on the roof. Uh, there's probably gonna be a garden. Yeah, see they've just taken like old travel trailers and built cool decks on them. Again, you're, you're right, you can just wander down, go for a walk on the beach, take the surfboard. Could go for a repaving of the road, but I guess that's part of the charm. Looks like they got a barbecue and uh, horse horseshoe pit down here. I'll bet they do uh, community get-togethers. You see, 
see uh, kayaks and these license plates are all uh, that says Palm Beach uh, California 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 Yeah, man, cool little places. Yeah, these brand new communities like like this here, uh, this one's called Cantamar, uh, the Cantamar Sand Dunes are around the corner here. They're beautiful, but uh, you're gonna pay for them. And I don't know, just uh, those old trailer parks that are kind of tricked out, I like that. I mean, I don't know if, uh, I'd rather have the brand new place, but yeah, I sure don't want to pay for it. So this is a little town. Um, I think it's just Canamar. The Canamar sand dunes are, are right on the beach down here. Um, we used to go riding uh, our motorcycles on the dunes right there. And they had a couple of races that uh, got pretty popular. So just thousands of people would come down and to the Canamar sand dunes race. I, there's probably, uh, although there's not that many tourists, there's uh, guys that rent uh, four-wheelers. Just come on down and uh, race around on the beach. Yeah, off to the right here is the uh, Canamar Sand Dunes. I drive in there, but I'll probably get this little car stuck. ATVs for rent. And of course you can bring your own uh, motorcycle or ATV and pay a small fee just to, for parking. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there riding right now. So this is La Salina. I like this little area. It, uh, again, they, they built this marina here and uh, they had trouble from the start. Uh, whoever whoever dredged it out, um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about uh, marine architecture, but the boats were trapped in. They couldn't get out. Um, the way they dredged it, I guess, was improper. Uh, straight ahead here, this is cool too, the La Salina Hotel and Cantina. If you if you can call it that it, it's just these little rooms but they're like fifteen dollars right above the bar in fact I might go over there um, but this marina it was fairly affordable and a lot of people uh, you know retirees brought their boats down here and then they had trouble um, the silt and sand was just being pushed in and they, they couldn't get their boats out so I, I think that's all sorted out this is obviously a boat ramp to launch your fishing boat or whatnot it looks fairly empty though I mean you could easily have uh, hundreds of boats in there and I see a I see a dozen but this is the La Salina Marina So this is what I really like about uh, Baja and you can just find these little uh, places, they're nothing fancy, you know a couple of small houses and uh, this looks like some apartments, oh they have a security guard now, that's new. They. Uh, They're just little communities. This one's right on the beach, and uh, they all have a little bar, maybe a little um, little mercado. Mercado. I just asked them. Uh, it is 9:40 in the morning. Apparently, the cantina does not open until 10 o'clock, which is an outrage. I wanted to go in there and have a beer and maybe get a taco. He did say the rooms were 40 bucks now. I think the last time I stayed there, it was uh, 
seventeen dollars or something. That it wasn't that long ago, so I understand. Not not a lot of people are coming down. Uh, they got to try to make a little bit of cash. I'm trying to figure out how to get on the on the road here. This might be one way. No, we're okay. You got to watch merging onto the highway here. Um, sometimes there's zero merge at all. Yeah, like this. Nobody's coming though. 